I love this song. Invite some people. On you. I don't know what's inside my cup. Why I feel like I'm hiding. Let on love. Hey, Lola. Miss me on ye. Waiting for people to get in the room. I just want to dance. I just want to feel good. I just want to dance. I just want to feel good. Don't you understand? I'm going to love you. So I won a like hundred dollar whiskey with these cool glasses. So I'm feeling kind of lucky. Hello. I got people coming in the house to talk energy. What up? Hey guys. Travis, Mark. Nice to see you, Damien. So I won this whiskey, man. It's like a, it's a man's whiskey. And I put fresh um, pineapple. I don't know. It tastes kind of weird. I'm not a really big whiskey drinker anymore, but that's aged for like, was it 16 years? I'm gonna turn this music down now. I just needed a little music. But, all right, so. I'm glad the men are in the room because the energy has a lot to do with the masculine. Um, and like I said, with masculine and feminine energies, a woman could carry a masculine energy, okay? A man could carry a masculine energy and a woman could carry a female energy and a man could carry a female en energy, right? So we have... Drink looks good. Oh, it it is. Um, so, that being said, we all, male, female in the three-dimensional world, encompass both energies, um, the masculine and the feminine energy, right? So, some of us are out of balance and some of us are in balance. So, that being said, I just wanted to let you guys know that I understand what you're going through. The men are the masculine, okay? is going through a lot of transformation and a lot of healing and a lot of old um, old energies that are no longer serving them. Um, they could be healing from karmic past relationships, maybe relationships that have been linked to um, abuse in childhood or whatever, whatnot, okay? So you're letting go to these codependent, um, I call them like more karmic, um, relationships, you have good karmic relationships and you have not good karmic relationships, right? Cause you're paying off karmic debt. Okay. So once you learn, um, that, that energy no longer serves you, then you can start connecting with your divine partners. Okay. And these are the ones that, hi, hey, one, nice to see you. Um, definitely replay. Um, I just started though, and I'm talking about the masculine energy. So the masculine energy is ruled by Mars, right? And the Venus energy is ruled by um, the feminine. Okay. So you have, here's Earth, and then you have Mars and Venus, and it's 
one, hey, one is masculine and one is feminine. Um, there's no good or bad or anything like that. They're just different energies and we have them all. So the, um, let me see. Okay. So the Venus went through Scorpio. Okay. About November 7th of this year to around December 1st. So the feminine already have been through this energy. Okay. Now the, now the feminine is... Um, we're experiencing our masculine, okay, uh, energy, okay, and that is healing. So, the feminine, uh, Venus went through Scorpio, and this is the constellation of transformation. It's water. It's emotion, okay? So, emotions are really high. People are probably crying all over the place. Um, uh, men are going through a lot more, I feel, or the masculine, energy is going through a lot more than the feminine energies, okay? Because the feminine energies have already went through the transformation. And it it literally got out and went to Sagittarius on December 1st. Now, the masculine energy is today. I'll just show you real quick. Let me see. Uh, okay, so like, let's say right now. It's around 11 p.m. Um, we have here. I'll see if I could turn around. This. Okay. We have Mars right there in Scorpio. Do you see right here? Now, when do you see how you're about? Let's see. Okay. So if there's 30 degrees in one sign, okay, you the masculine energy will be out of that transformation and into the fun play, um, uh, explorer and freedom. Hey, Teddy, leave, uh, miss me, Aguilum. Um, we'll be out of there in, uh, let's see. So if you're half, you're about halfway there. So I'd, I'd say give it another couple weeks, three weeks or something, maybe two weeks. Okay. But I'll keep my eye on this. Now, do you see that right there? That's Jupiter. Jupiter expands the energy. So, within the next few days, you guys are probably going to feel really intense. So, just prepare for that. Um, we have all this energy in Capricorn. This is what's called a stellium of energy. That means it's super intense. And um, I have a little information about that, but I forgot to look up exactly what would be the the um the the sites this it's the psychology thing in it okay so right now we have virgo so maybe there's a lot of people that are trying to clean up clean house organize make a list of things that they want they're you know maybe you're wanting to do a i've already been feeling intense or yeah or at least tense yeah yeah, so that's that's starting to, like, for me, like, the intensity kind of chilled out a little today. I was just really just focused on, like, trying to, like, like just surround myself with things that make me happy. So, like, my friends, and then I went to the gym, and then I went to round one and played video games, and then... Um, and then I stopped by my mom's and said hi to her and then came home and started cleaning house and doing dishes and stuff like that. Right. And, um, that's kind of that Virgo energy. You just want to like, like clean your physical environment and make that feel good. And then it can reflect on the inside. So I thought I'm going to start making my vision board for 2018. Okay. So a vision board, like I just got this from the dollar store and it's really fun to do because when you need hope, you, you just, you got it, you got to pull it out from somewhere. So this literally, it's a dollar at the 99 cent store. And then what I do is just, um, I just Google images or words, right? That I want that could explain a lot. Um, yeah, I, I just type in on Google and then I push images and then whatever images like elicits happiness or anything like that, print those out and put it on your board. Okay. So then you have it hanging and you can see what you want for uh, the year of 2008 or um, that kind of stuff.
Hi, Nola. Nice to see you. Um, so, so that's, that's one aspect of, uh, the energy is the, the Mars coming in conjunction with Jupiter, which is just mean that the, the masculine energy is going through a really big, deep transformation. Um, pretty much it, it, it's like, I feel like the, um, the, the illusions are starting to fall away or the things that you might have thought and you're kind of in conflict, like, you know, like I was saying in the last video, cognitive dissonance. Oh, I love you too. Um, which, you know, like you, um, when, when you had a certain belief for so long and now it's being shown that it's not true, like it's so hard to let go of that because our ego wants to say, yes, no, I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Right. So we're all kind of in conflict and it, and it's just healing and it's just transformation. Like we have to let go of those old patterns and those old thoughts because we are, we're in a new energy now. And then, you know, we're ascending to a new frequency. So, you know, you might be getting a lot of body aches and pains. Capricorn rules the bones. So your bones might be a little more brittle or a little like your body just might be feeling crickety and sore and stuff. Um, but it's all a part of winter and a part of transformation. Like everything goes through its transformation. I mean, all the plants, all the flowers, everything dies and then it's reborn again. So we are a reflection of our environment. Um, we also have a Uranus conjunct Pallas Athena. Now Pallas Athena is, um, I believe Zeus's daughter or she was born of Zeus's head or something like that in this Greek mythology, but it's whatever, you know, mythology, Bible, like it's all the same to me. They're all stories uh, told from our ancestors and it's good to like know and listen to those kind of things, right? And apply it to the current um, life, right? Um, so Pallas Athena, let me just read to you what that energy is. So that, wait, Pallas Athena and Uranus are both in Aries. So wherever Aries is in your chart, as well as it is the, the first sign of the Zodiac, it is our ego, okay? And the moon is literally right behind it. Wow. So the moon's going to catch up to it in the next few days. So this week is going to be pretty transformational, Recognize cognitive dissonance shakes everything. Yeah, ripple effect. Exactly. Um, yeah, it really messes with us um, humans. Uh, it kind of uh, prevents us sometimes from uh, growing outside of our skin, if you know what I mean. Um, so, let's see. Mm, Pallas Athena. So, this energy in the chart. And this is also goes along with the masculine transformation with the Jupiter. Okay. So palace is in our natal, ch natal chart represents strategy, wisdom, planning, intuition, intelligence, strength, skill, insight, upheaval, activism, and politics. This is the point where illusions are stripped away. Connections are made and strategies are created. Palace is an agent of change and seeks to rise, raise awareness. So we're all becoming more mindful, more aware of our, our, our behaviors. Uh, because, you know, if we're raised to be like robots, well, then our brains are going to work like robots, right? Because that's how we were trained. We were trained not to think outside the box, not to question authority, not to question anything, you know, just like our parents, like, you know, as a little kid, like, well, why can't I do that? Well, because I said so. I hated that. Like, I think kids should be explained why they shouldn't touch fire because it'll burn your fucking finger off. All right. And I love you and I want to protect you. So these are just my, the way I see things and stuff like that. Hey, Danny, it's nice to see you on here. It's really intense times. I know. Um, I'm sorry to hear about your papa that my heart goes out to you. I cried um, because I just feel like, you know, it's just, there's a lot of shifting going on and, um, you know, these deaths and rebirths. Um, your papa has rebirthed onto uh, the, the five dimensional, right? Another dimension. And um, 
And, you know, I just feel like, like, like when we're here, we're dead to that world. And then when we're up there, we're dead to this world, but we're all alive all the time. We never die because energy only transfers. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Blessings be with you and your family. And, um, let's see. I, th those are the two really intense energies. Um, it also looks like the North node and Leo is conjunct, um, is it Cirrus? Let me see. Yeah, Cirrus. So, Cirrus. Cirrus is a dwarf planet, rules food, agriculture, transitions in a female's life, nurturing, motherhood, family relationships. So, that's where the women are transforming, right? They're, they're, we're transforming our masculine energies to be like, subside them a little bit, and to transform them in more of non, like a non-aggressive, right, right, a non-controlling and more of a very loyal, loving, like, like a dog would be, right? That's the masculine energy. Cats are feminine energies. They're felines. So the, 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 the feminine energy has already went through this transformation. They just want to come out. They want to just come out and play, right? They want to nurture and mother and love. Um... So maybe like, okay, so I you like everything is a process and we all go through like certain emotions and certain things have to happen. Um, you literally just have to forgive yourself and move forward. Like forgive yourself of whatever you've done in the past and who you've been because it's just really like, like it's, it's been highlighting for like, you know, the last month. It was like a very like transformative month for sure. This is not my final form. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay, so I just got this from, um, as a, as a, a, a present from my biological father. And it's a Frozen. I just thought this was very cute. So I'm wearing it. Like, why? I'm going to wear it because we're all frozen. Frozen in time. But, um, yeah, do you guys have any questions or anything that you'd like to share? Uh, that's dope. Thanks. It's super soft, too. And I have my Pegasus unicorn slippies on. Um, and then I won this whiskey, and I felt really lucky. Like, I know you're a Leo, too. I'm just not sure what your rising is. Ooh. I'll have to look up your chart one day. Yeah, I won. I won this. And then the last two scratchers I had, I won. So that's good. I'm winning. I have good karma. Coming my way. All right, guys. Well, that's what I have to say to you guys oh why can I invite that guest why does it say Danny joined and then invite and then it says invite Danny to be a guest uh, I don't know I don't know how to work this all the time it's Christmas also with it the time of transformation and upheaval um yes and no um, so the three dimensional reality, yes, there's always going to be some kind of transformation and upheaval because we've, um, we've kind of ascended to another energy and another frequency, the feminine, the divine goddess, feminine energy came down to awaken us all into like what, what we've been doing and why we're here kind of thing. Then um, I feel, and plus the aspects in astrology, we haven't had um, all this energy in Capricorn, like Saturn and Capricorn in its home in a couple decades. So it's more intense now than it was before because now everything, because Saturn is home, really it just means that we can manifest whatever we want in a three-dimensional world. So it's either we could go into a fear 
spiral and not ascend and be like, you know, I see this pattern that has happened before and I'm not going to allow it to happen again. Or you could focus on what God is giving you in your life and, you know, and, and how much you do deserve, um, God's, you know, grace and love, right? And so you're accepting all the good stuff. And when I say God, it's, it's, it's the energy. It's the universal energy. We're all connected. So we're all God. Okay. We're all gods. Okay. We're not God, but we're a piece of God, right? We're children of God. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Just talked a lot on the energy. So if you, I replay for sure, replay. Hi, cuz. Um, I just know this always brings up heightened emotional states. Yeah, I'm sure for the holidays have parties to do with that. I was just wondering if it is also the midwinter New Year change. Sure. Yeah, I think I think there's many confounds that contribute to, um, you know, everything. Like, you know, it's like the saying, um, so above, so below, right? Uh, whatever is we are a mere reflection of our own selves. Okay. So it's like when the sun is shining, we're getting the vitamin D and that vitamin D is being absorbed into our system. And then it's helping fight cancer cells. Okay. And depression. Um, when there is no sun, then we're not getting that. And we start feeling sick and people get sick. And I mean, there's, there's the three dimensional explanations and then there's the five dimensional explanations for transformation, right? Because we live in a multi-dimensional universe. So the three dimensional and the five dimensional, they go hand in hand, they work together. So there is explanations for the three dimensional world. And then there's explanations for the energetic world, which would be like the planets have a lot to do with the energy because they are our solar system that we live in. It's our immediate, we have our sun and we have our moon. There's other places in the galaxy that have their own moon and their own sun, right? So it's good to look at our immediate galaxy. And as, so they're called inner planets. The inner planets are the ones that, that affect us pretty often, right? Because they, they, they rotate through the constellations a lot faster, right? The moon is one of the fastest, so the moon is changing constellations every two to two and a half days. So that's why when you say, oh, I'm moody, that's exactly where that comes from is the moon is creating the mood. And then the outer planets are the ones that they take longer and they have a, a, a lasting effect because they stay in one energy or one constellation for a longer amount of time. Um, yeah. So thank you for that. I like the questions and then it helps other people understand as well. Cause I've had a lot of people reach out to me this week, very, um, emotional and very, um, uh, wondering how to move through these energies. And I feel for you masculine energies for sure, because I've been there. I, I went through that in November and I'm feeling better, but then like, it, it got me, you know, um, because I also have masculine energies. So it, it got, it got the best of me last week and I just had to put it in check and realize what was happening. Cause I, you know, sometimes don't look at my astrology charts and look at the, where the energy is. And then I get sidetracked and I don't like getting sidetracked. I like to stay on track. Like I like to know what kind of energies I should be expecting so I could behave myself. Yeah, because um, I could be a brat. We all know that. If you know me, you know I could be a brat. And it's all just about, you know, trying to better ourselves. Yeah, I've been back and forth the entire month. The dips have been low, but the spikes have been really high as well. Yeah, totally there. Right there with you. It's that. It's. It's the sh there's so many shifts that have been happening. Like if you just knew the amount of shifts in the five dimensional world that have been happening, like, and it drops down to the three dimensional world, you know, and we just have to be mindful of it 
and try to do our best because we are spiritual beings having a human experience, right? And we have karmic relationships everywhere, even with our parents. Sometimes, you know, our parents aren't really, you know, good or, for us or they challenge us, but it's like this karmic lesson that you just have to realize and learn and then work through it. Um, and just have your eyes open, you know, see who has your, your back and who doesn't because I have a lot of soul family that, um, that I've been meeting, you know, and I kind of already knew that I was going to be meeting a lot of my soul family and I can't believe how much I've been meeting this last month. Um, and it's people that I'm not even related to, but you just meet someone and you know that you've had, you've had past lives with them or past connection with them. Hi, Angelique. Um, let's see. Yeah. So any other questions before I log out? Oh, the Pars of Fortune is in Gemini too. Now the pars of fortune is kind of like like what is makes what is going to make you happy in this life pretty much like in the three dimensional world. I think that's an all right description without me having to look it up. I forgot, but usually it's your work. It's it's like your work in the world. Oh good. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, we do. We're so lucky. I feel that too. Um, yeah, so that's in Gemini, which is, you know, it's, it's a transformation. Like it's, it's the, it's, um, it's the messenger between worlds. Um, I love Gemini's. I love Gemini energy, um, very insightful, and I think a lot of Geminis are maybe realizing what their their work is and their passion is in the world, and that's wherever. We all have Gemini in our chart, so just to let you know when I talk about constellations, these are signs of the zodiac, right, but we have them all, so I can say, oh yeah, I'm a Leo, right, but what, where is that Leo? Is it, you have 12 houses, right? I believe that there's more than 12 houses. However, that's what we have now. Um, that's accurate. Okay. So everything's constantly evolving, right? As well as astrology should as well. That's where a Fucus and Orion come in. And I, and it's, literally right where Gemini is. So there's a lot of people that are being put on their divine purpose for their life. So a lot of this transformation after is going to push them into where their North node, where they're supposed to be, what they were supposed to learn. Like, I feel like, like the beginning of the month, like it was just like my whole life flashed before my eyes and I realized why I had to go through everything I had to go through. So maybe other people have went through that as well. But we all go through the, pretty much the same thing at different times. Because that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Or the planets rotate. Um, purpose, I'm sure. Yes. I forgot where you what I was saying when I put it in there, but well, thanks for joining everyone. I think this is a really long video, but I hope I got a lot across and for all the replay viewers, or if you came in midway, please watch the whole video so you can kind of get the gist of where all what I was saying, but just breathe how to deal with this energy because it's going to probably get a little more intense as the ener as the energy goes on this week for the masculine is um, just stay on purpose, continue um, uh, working towards your goals, and don't give up. You've you've come way too far 
to backpedal or take strides backwards. Um, you know, a little step backwards to help launch you forward, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. And that's usually how energy works. Um, you know, you got to get super messy before you can get super clean. <laughs> uh, so make sure to exercise a lot. That's going to create happy endorphins. Take your vitamin D, your 5-HTP, and um, make your vision board and stay happy. All right. Night, guys. Love ya. Mwah.